add add x plus y until it is 100. So it will iterate. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 until it reaches 100. So it is sigma 1 to n, sigma 1 to 100. It is a while loop. Whereas the conditional is you will put a condition saying if x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1, run this. Else skip, else quit. So these are all the conditionals. So anyhow, the, today let us not get it into too many things guys. I know your mind is going to be overwhelmed and and it is not because of joy it is of confusion i know you will be confused at this point do i need to remember all these terms guys it is if you work for a month it is more than uh, my lecture for an year ask ashok ashok started working since like 15 days he already attended all my classes and he know all about this but talk to him for a minute and let us take his opinion after he start working, he learned things very quick. Ashok showed real interest and he, he has put his, his efforts to get into a job. After he got into a job, he himself mentioned that he learned a lot in few days. Ashok, go ahead in your words, tell us our friends, what was your experience when you learned data services and what is your experience now? Please share it with them so that they get some confidence. Yeah. Your voice is too low, Ashok. Uh, can you put up a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. So Ashok started working from last 15 20 days and now he has learned at least 50% of data services by now. When in when in my theoretical classes he tried to practice few things but then until you make use of it you don't remember. It is the same as any other story. If you go to a, if you go to a, a car training center, I mean for a driving school, only when you drive the car you learn the rules. If you keep re reading through the book, you'll forget uh, certainly. So if you are a visualite, come on, try to practice, try to look into these jobs. I'm going to share whatever the knowledge I have, guys. I'm not going to keep anything for myself because I believe in sharing and uh, learning. If I share you. I, that is a learning point for me. So, if you have something excess that I know, please let me know. I will also share you definitely 101% whatever I know to best of my knowledge. So, you will have to keep questioning. So, whatever the inspiration uh, from the team, I see the team is energetic. They have certainly some questions because earlier when I do any kind of a training, people will keep listening to me but without any uh, sound back from them because they don't work on it. So start working on it. Do some practice. Learn learn how to use it. Then you'll have 100 number of questions. By the time you are getting into the job, I am trying to give you an experienced person's opinion on data services. It is not you are going to go as a fresher. As a fresher in tutorial, if you see nowhere this will be mentioned. But why am I starting at that point is I'm I'm going to tell you that you are an expert, right? So to become an expert, you need to learn at a very high level. Instead of driving in a local uh, local road at a speed of 25, I am putting you on a most powerful Ferrari car and on the freeway. If someone sees you getting out of Ferrari or getting into the Ferrari, they assume you are a good driver, right? <laughs> so that's the same thing I am trying to do here. Any questions guys? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah.
Yes, that is true. Uh, okay. ATL file. It is actually going to store it locally for you. When you export it to a database, again you will have to go back to a database administrator, ask him to export a particular schema and then you will have to go into a different database and import it as a database uh, file. Whereas ATL file is more for the developer which is friendly. If you want to share something with your colleague, you don't have a central repository. Why do you want to use the database? Because if you use a database, you will not have permissions to write into a database, export it as a dump file and then re-import it into your colleague's database, which is very complex. ATL is very simple. All we are talking is, if you wanted to move a single, uh, single, uh, what is it? Uh, a small piece of laptop from your uh, home to your friend's home, why do you want it to make use of a truck? Why do you want it to get a uh, huge refrigerator box to put your laptop inside it, wrap it and then move it to your next door, which is not required. But when do we use the database way of doing it? When you move between environments, when you move from dev to, uh, dev to QA and QA to prod, you can use the database version. You can export it as a database file. It will go along with every table definition and everything. And then finally, if you go into QA environment, the database administrator will import it as a database file. And if someone connects there, they can find it in that particular repository, all this metadata that is possible. So ATL is for small purpose, for, for a little uh, movement. Whereas if you want to move the entire repository uh, somewhere else, you have to follow the database way which is easier. Yes, you have to export pro, uh, separately each job and then move it instead of moving the entire repository. And uh, that is where one question from you, but you are an advanced user now. Uh, I don't want to confuse the rest of the people with these questions. But uh, to answer your uh, uh, straightforward uh, question, when we have a database way of doing it, why not we use that instead of doing it as an ATL? That is understandable. If, if, if you have any further questions on that particular point, we will take it offline because remaining people will get confused on that. So what he was asking about so far is when I try to export a job, here I have database type. I can export it into any database, the ATL file. In the same way, I can export it, my particular repository into any database of these all repositories. All I need is a connection information, what server I am connecting, what database, what is its username, password. Everything, all the metadata from this repository which is sitting in MySQL will move into Oracle. No doubt about it. So, actually uh, Ashok had a problem and uh, at first when he contacted me, I told it is not possible. But later when I explored, I found out that there are a couple of options and this is one of the options. Let us say a company decided first to implement their uh, data services uh, on uh, Oracle. Later on uh, in their company they found why don't we use Microsoft SQL Server which is more cheaper and licensing is like free for them. So they wanted to move their existing repositories from Oracle to SQL Server. How they do it? This is the way. Go into your repository, export it into uh, any other database go there you will find it if you log in you are already there in that repository so there is no point in separately exporting each atl or doing anything you can directly export it to any database you want your repository will be available there if you log in as so and so user A any more questions uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, obviously you can export the project. Who told you uh, you should not? If you export a project, 
you will get all under it you you will get jobs you will get data flows workflows everything even the functions associated to it everything will come up the only flexibility is in a project there could be 100 jobs and in the central repository they would have organized the projects in a different way because in development environment everyone will try to put their own project name and then uh, do the things that that way but if you use the central repository properly yes you can obviously do it you can export it at a, at a project level and you should be able to import it even at the project level if they wanted to do job by job the best way is write the job name uh, with the atl file name the same way if you are doing it job by job go with the atl file because that is user friendly easily uh, e easily you can do it if you wanted to do it at the project level or the repository level go with the database okay hey actually ashok your voice is your voice is too low and you are waving i mean one time i hear you sometimes i don't hear you so kindly or uh, please make sure that you are near the microphone when you talk to me yes uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, a project is also an object, the highest of the objects. Because if you see, it is also part of local object library. So when it is part of local object library, I cannot uh, tell something else that the project is not part of the library. No, it is a part of library, but it is the head of the library kind of. Okay. See, you can uh, see. I I can export job, the project, and I can also export a data flow. If I want only a data flow, see here. If I want, I will add to this ATL file only a data flow. I I can do that. But because the data flow is already part of this, it is not uh, accepting. So let me delete this. Let me also delete this. And now I right click and say export. It will export only the data flow. And it's associated data store. That is also possible. You you can choose anything. You can export only a function. That is also possible. Export only a function. Who will stop you? See, you can export only this function. That that is also possible. You